Ace Podcast. This is the Super Co-op Squad Video Game Podcast, Episode 68. On today's show, we will be discussing PlayStation Plus and Games with Gold. Who won that battle for the month of February? Dragon Ball fans unite. We're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Fighters and Red Dead Redemption 2. We got some more information from Rockstar. Listen in as we have all those segments as well as our games, fan faves, gamer trivia, and more. Welcome to episode 68 of the Super Co-op Squad video game podcast. I am your host, Johnny Mac. I am here with my good friends, my fellow hosts, my compatriots, my my fellow Z fighters. We can keep going. Uh, Garrett Laney. <laughs> That's it? You gotta, you're gotta. you not powered up yet. Well, I, I don't want to blow up the mics. <laughs> and uh, Joshua Gerard. I don't have a Dragon Ball reference. Isn't that shocking? Wow. I mean, you did like a bunch of stuff like right before. How far are you fallen? You did. You did the whole like ending ending credit song just like two minutes ago. Uh, yeah. You literally <laughs> you had material. Well, we are the Super Co-op Squad guys. Every week we talk about the latest news, games, movies, comics, everything nerdy, but with a pretty particular focus on games. Uh, we'll chat about those things, some other things. Just enjoy ourselves and hopefully give you guys a good time as well as some knowledge and some interesting or, or not interesting opinions. Before we hop into our content, this is going to be your spoiler alert. And to start that off, you're going to get a terrible spoiler of the week. In the latest update to the Pokemon movie franchise, Pikachu speaks other than his name. Yeah, it's a, it's a mar and a blight on everything Pokemon. Well, that is your terrible spoiler. And that was a, a truly terrible event in Pokemon. <laughs> yes, it really it was. was. It was a travesty. Uh, <laughs> but for the real spoilers, guys, make sure you check our show notes. You can find those by just clicking the link. That's going to be in the summary or the description of wherever you happen to be listening to your podcast, whether that's on Google or uh, or iTunes or, or wherever, guys, so, or iPods, iPads, iPhones, iHomes. But those are, that's coming, man. I'm sure they got that in beta test. Um, so make sure you guys do that. All right. Let's go ahead and hop into today's show. Games, 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 games. If you're a, if you're a, uh, how I met your mother fan, you'll know what that means. Uh, boats, boats, boats. I, I don't. I, I know you. I know you don't. But that's okay. All right. PlayStation Plus free games and games with gold for the month of February. Uh, those games have been revealed. Some of those games are already available for free. We're going to talk about the best and the worst in those games. The games that you should or shouldn't be playing. So for the uh, Sony side of things, we have Rhyme. For the PS4 price at $29.99, Knack on the PS4 price at $19.99, Spelunker HD priced at $10, Mugen Souls Z priced at $19.99, Exiles N for the Vita priced at $9.99, and Grand Kingdom for the Vita priced at $29.99. It comes to a total, at least for the retail value, of $119.94. Let's break these bad boys down. What do what do we like? What do we not like? What's what's this list looking like? I don't like any of these. Really? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Well, to be fair, you are probably the most particular when it comes to receiving free things. <laughs> I suppose so. Um, you know what? Knack and Spelunker stand off stand out to me as just general decent games. Huh. I mean, I mean, yeah, sure, Knack is a an old school platformer, but I, the way I look at Knack is that if it would have come out in like I mean, maybe not that high definition if fidelity. It, if it would have came out on PS2, it would have yeah. been a popular game. Exactly. Yep, it would I be agree. It would be like Spyro and Crash. It would be like revered like those games. It just came out in an era where no one plays those games anymore. I think it just came out at a time where everybody was hyped up about the next generation that that didn't fulfill it at all. Yeah, that's a great point. I think I agree with you that it's it was it should not have been a launch title. It wasn't a game that you should have put your cons put your console out with. Like no one was thinking, oh yeah, high fidelity, new graphics. We're gonna play this children's game. I think that definitely hurt it. We're going to pay play with build a blocks. Yeah. Pretty much. Build a monster that's not a monster, but everyone thinks he's a monster. Um, but also Spelunker is a pretty fun like, you know, 2D kind of platforming roguelike sort of game. And I've heard a lot of good things about it. Yeah, I mean, I, you guys are in, into the speedrun community pretty strongly and a lot of speedrunners have a lot of fun with this game. Yeah. There's a lot of warps and tunnels and different things like that. So um, let's go through the other ones. So I know you pulled up some info on Rhyme, JG. Yeah, Rhyme's. Uh, I've I've been interested about hearing it. Uh, it's an adventure puzzle game developed by Tequila Works. So good times. But it, it looks like a kind of an interesting 
shell uh, cell shaded you know graphic it doesn't it's not like crazy looking graphics but it looks like an interesting game i remember it i feel like this was free uh <laughs> like some other time before but i could be wrong but uh, i have no idea what grand kingdom is for the vita mugen souls is just one of those anime fighter now wasn't wasn't mugen souls the one that got pulled from uh the sony playstation store oh no 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 that was uh there was another one Skull that was like Girls? that. Skull Girls. There we go. Skull Girls came back though. Yeah, it did. It did come back. It a got, different version though. It yeah. got pulled originally. Yeah. yeah, like from both markets, mm-hmm. Xbox and Sony. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mugen Souls is a decent game to to have as far as you know it being a fighter, uh, not the same kind of fighter that we would expect, but uh, or RPG fighter, I suppose. Um, it's, it's a it's a decent choice. It's not it's not bad. Um, Exiles End and uh, Grand Kingdom are the two that I don't think any of us really know much, much about. Exiles End looks like a 2D platformer with robots and, See, a, and a sword. Now, the problem with this is this is a Vita game. So, I mean, I have a Vita. It's collecting dust, not doing much. Same with mine. Yeah. Mine is not collecting dust because it's in its original packaging. Oh, excuse, excuse me. The box is collecting dust. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua takes care of his stuff. I sure damn do. Okay, looks like we got enough talk on that. No one cares about Exiles in here or Grand Kingdom. If you do, I might download it. S- sorry, but platformer looks like yeah. Enjoy turning on that PS Vita, and since it's probably oh, dead, saw. it's gonna take you twelve minutes to recharge. I'm sure you can also download it on the PS4. It might be available. I think yeah, some it's of these, maybe. yeah. So hopefully, all right. Hitting over to the games with Gold Side. So uh, Shadow Warrior priced at thirty bucks. There we go. So you can do this part because mine is not pulling up correctly for some reason. <laughs> it's half half assing on your email. Okay. Yeah. Games with Gold, Shadow Warrior, Xbox One for $29.99. Assassin's Creed Chronicles, India on Xbox One for $9.99. Split Second for the Xbox 360 for $19.99. And Garrett? Crazy Taxi. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. For $9.99 on Xbox 360. So that's pretty cool that Split Second is getting... Some some shine. It's one of those it's one of those action racers that is just a lot of fun to play. Very uh very fast. Very uh, I it's a different like it's different from Need for Speed. I think it's more action oriented. Now, if I remember, Split Second is the uh the Disney game, Disney Interactive. Yes, yeah. And this is the one where I think it's like you're in a race and it's kind of like a reality TV show where the drivers can activate traps kind of uh, along the course and cause things to fall, bridges to explode. Yep. Mm, I mean, I wouldn't personally say like a reality TV show. I would say like, like an interactive or like a, uh, like a hyper realistic Mario Kart. Okay. Like, 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 I wouldn't like, show the premise. Like, like, like a death race or death race. Yeah. Like you can do things like make your opponents like, Change, it changes like the map essentially. Yeah, or the yeah. Track. You can make buildings fall over in certain scenarios, and yeah. So you're you're right on that. This is literally a Fast and the Furious game. You just you make buildings fall over, you blow things up from a car. Like that's what that's what Fast and the Furious does. Race a submarine. Yeah, exactly. You're, they're going to go to space pretty soon. Meet the Ninja <laughs> Turtles. Um, yeah, this that was a, that's a pretty good you know free game there. Um, the one that stands out to me honestly is a uh, uh, Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior is a pretty pretty good series, pretty fun game. So. Yeah, so so this series has been around since like '90s. It came out you know, with 3D Realms, uh, kind of like the same people that made Duke Nukem also made a Shadow Warrior game, uh, the original one, and uh, it, it came back not too long ago. And from what I hear, it's pretty pretty action packed. It, it's it's a pretty like I don't know. Um, there's a lot to do in that game. Yeah, and it just came out with a second one, I believe, or a second one's coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. Uh, they they are clearly interested in making more of them. So to make that free, it's probably pretty big. And uh, Microsoft needs to start working on some new IPs or something, or bring some old stuff back because they they, they don't have much. So uh, I don't think Shadow Warriors. Uh, it's not it's not a exclusive. first party exclusive to them. I do not believe it is. I don't think so. no. I don't think so. Well, uh, woe to you, Microsoft. <clears throat> okay, so Assassin's Creed Chronicles India. I feel like we're just getting. Too much Assassin's Creed, like more than anyone could ever ask for, more than anybody could ever really play. Like, it just means nothing now. Well, yes and no. Uh, the Chronicles series, I, I think, brings a nice change of pace than your average kind of Assassin's Creed. This is like a, a 2D platformer. Maybe think of Metroidvania. 
mm-hmm. uh, kind of thing. It, it's pretty cool. The, the sneaking around, uh, and, and just using the, the environment and your skills that against, uh, you know, try to get to point A to point B, maybe kill some dudes in the process. Uh, I have played the China one. And so I believe the India one is the second installment in that, uh, in that Chronicle series. So I will probably be picking this up. Yeah. It's funny. They were Vita exclusives for a time. Were they? Mm-hmm. they were. And then they for got sure. ported. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is a fun game. Well, I don't know about India, but I did play China. It is, it is a fun game. I just feel like the Assassin's Creed name used to mean something. Like when Assassin's Creed would come out when the first couple were here, they were, they were big names and, uh, Ubisoft, or for those who want to, who say, uh, tomato, Ubisoft. I say Ubisoft. So, you know, you people. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, as, as Ubisoft has begun to just make it a yearly release or two a year or all, you know, just driving this, trying to drive the franchise forward and just propagate more and more money out of it. The name has meant less and less. It's no longer like a triple A, like, oh my gosh, this game's coming out. It, it just, it just comes out. Yeah, yeah, I, I can agree with that, which I think is why they're trying to slow the pace down. Uh, you know, coming up, I don't think there's one coming out this year, there's unless the Rogue Remaster is coming out this year. I believe it is. Never mind. All right, and of course, we got a Crazy Taxi. Classic game. Everybody should download it. I agree with this. It's a fast, fun arcade game. Pick up people, drop them off. As fast as you can. Try not pedestrians, but... A few points. Mm-hmm. So in like that it. essence, and you should attempt to destroy them. Uh, but uh, Crazy Taxi is awesome. Was uh, it an arcade? It was in arcades before? first. We Originally this. came out in the arcades, <laughs> then was ported to the Dreamcast. Yep. You know, if you want to play it at home, people. Yeah. And then they had a Simpsons version. Yes, they did. That was a thing. I won that name the game. All right. So uh, who's who's winning this month? Uh, I give it to Microsoft. They have better. They have better games as a whole, games that, you know, for us, we know and are interested in either playing or revisiting versus games on Sony side. I don't think anyone's really going to go back and play Knack or play it for a first time. Rhyme, people look at that. They're like, eh, it doesn't look too great. I mean, Splunky or Splunker, I think, is going to be the, the only attraction on that side. So I think Microsoft takes it, yeah. even though it's, you know, less from a dollar because they always have less games. I mean, I, I really do like Knack. I think it's a fun game. I've played it. I, I believe I still own a copy of it. Uh, and Spelunker is, it's a, it's a fun little, you know, again, roguelike platformy type thing. And it's, 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 it's interesting, but I agree with you that I, you know, with the four games that Microsoft has, they're all hitters to somebody. And I don't know if you can ever call all six of those games or even four out of the six on the Sony side hitters at any point. So that's my take. 100% agree with both of you, except Johnny, Knack is garbage. Uh, <laughs> but Microsoft does take this one quite easily, which isn't often for, for old Microsoft. Yeah, they, they've lost most of the times we've reviewed this every month. They've, they've not done well. Now, since they've done this, have they come out with like a big franchise title that's normally 50 or 60 bucks? Like on, on Sony side, you had Just Cause, you had, um, the Darksiders, uh, Dith- Definitive edition or whatever you had, uh, Metal Gear. Like, have you, have, has Microsoft come out with any, like, I don't think they've ever done like Halo 5 or Gears of War 4 or even a big Forza Sunset Overdrive probably be a great title to throw for free. I believe Sunset Overdrive was free. That's why I have it. It's okay. a great game. But they've done, they've done, they've done some good games. They've, they've had some, some bright spots. Just in total, in general, they give us games, you know, 11 years old. Or a game from the Xbox 360 launch times, or the, just things like that. That's a problem. No, I wouldn't be surprised if all four of these games were on Game Pass right now. They, they, well, I don't think they probably were, but I mean, they could have been. They could have been. All right. Well, that is our take, guys, on the Xbox games with gold and the PlayStation f- and the, and the PlayStation Plus freebies. Uh, what games, what games are your games? Let us know. Email us contact at scspodcast.net. All right, guys, it's time for fan favorites. So every week we pick five rapid fire questions. Each of us answers to find where we stand opposed 
and united in fandom. So play along and let's find out just what are your fan favorites. And remember, you can do that now. Go to our uh, poll. We'll have a Google poll. There'll be a link in the summary and the details of wherever you're listening to your podcast. It's also in the show notes. Click that link. It'll have five quick little uh, uh, options for you to pick from. You know, this or that. Pick them. And that way you will have your answer in the poll for the next week. So this is episode 68 on the very tip top of 68's description. There will be a, a link for episode 69's poll. That way you'll be in for next week, guys. All right, Joshua. My pick. Yes, sir. I, I had some fun with this one, okay. as you say. This one was enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoy it. Television is a big part of the entertainment industry. We love it. We love to laugh. We like some good jokes. There are awesome shows of late, such as that 70 Show's that 70s show, Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, mother except for Garrett, because I guess he doesn't watch it. But there are shows that pave the way before it. So I need you to pick one of the two shows that you enjoyed the most, that you were favorited over. This is sitcoms of yesteryear. All right. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Number one, Family Matters or Sister, Sister? Uh, Sister, Sister. Family Matters. Family Matters. Number two, I Love Lucy or Golden Girls. I love Lucy. I love Lucy. I love Lucy too. Number three, Roseanne or Married with Children. Married with Children. Roseanne. Married with Children. Number four, Saved by the Bell or Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World. Boy, Boy Meets World. Saved by the Bell. And the last one, this wasn't for us. This was for other people. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air or Friends. Don't waste my time. Let's just keep this a start. We don't even, do we even need do we even need to to say a vote? The, the fans need to know. Let's let's have them know. Unanimously, we all choose the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yes. yes, we do. We do. A lot of other people maybe did not. I guess we'll find out. Those people suck. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Damn. All right. Damn. If you don't choose the Fresh Prince of Bel Air as like one of the greatest of all time TV shows, then yeah, what, I'm sorry. What is it? The goat. <clears throat> the goat. You don't you don't like. You don't like him saying that? I've been right. using it a lot. <laughs> He's been using that term a lot. Oh, okay. Yep. Sports I'll probably, reference. Probably used it a few more times in this podcast. It's Super Bowl Sunday today. All right, let's break this down. All right. Well, where's your... I got it. Oh, you got it? Yep. All right. So, uh, family, family matters. matters or sister, sister. All right. Also, also, keep in mind, we have hit another milestone for responses. Uh, we have uh, once again eclipsed the uh, the number of total responses um, so it's getting up there, man. Let's get thank up you, there. thank you. Yeah, you guys are you guys are you guys are responding very well, which is making these numbers mean more, which eventually we'll be able to take these numbers to NBC and use them and allow and they will pay us. Now we're not gonna we're not gonna take no, take a look at this pie chart. Then we can show them and let them know what shows to bring back. I was looking to sell the data for money, but I mean that too. I was just kidding. A, that's called a macro transaction. Yeah, we, we don't have we we would need hundreds of thousands of votes for them to even begin to care. We don't have that many. But keep pumping those numbers. <laughs> One day, it's our rookie numbers. <laughs> All right. So, family matters or sister sister? I mean, this is hard because I think family matters is in general people like that show more. But for me personally, sister sister was funnier. Like it, it was just like more my time. I didn't watch either. Okay, well, so, you picked one. Well, uh, Family Matters, because of Steve Urkel. I mean, I still know the character, <laughs> you know. I don't know. I, I just feel that, that uh, Sister Sister was a little bit more, like, 90s, and I feel like Family Matters, even though it was in the 90s, it was, like, a more 80s show. You know, a lot of the 80s shows, like, all the families were, like, wholesome and, like, full and complete and, like, I mean, there were issues, but it wasn't the same. I mean, Sister Sister is a broken home family, and, like, they come together, and, like, it's it's different. Yeah, I like Family Matters just because it did have those funny tones. It did have a lot of different character mm-hmm. dynamics, but it it felt real because if you look at it now, they dealt with a lot of different social issues, whether it be, you know, bullying from trouble with relationships to that 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 cranky neighbor that's always harassing you. And it's just just an all-around really good show. All right. So, uh Family Matters just absolutely destroyed. I mean, the whole family just beat down the sisters. Okay, Damn. it's not a violent thing. <laughs> I'm telling it's you. Just shows. It's, it's Johnny's thing. Uh, he resorts to violence. Uh, That's why football is his favorite sport. 74.2% of uh, listeners chose Family Matters and 25.8% stuck with me with Sister Sister. All right. The next one we had was I Love Lucy or The Golden Girls. No, I'm sure both of them have their 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 high high points. Well, okay, I'm sure Golden Girls has its high points, 
But I love Lucy. It's just better. I 100% agree. Golden Girls definitely has a, a strong fan base in that. It does. Yeah, yeah. In that like late 80s to early 90s. And I think it, it spawned like three or four spinoff shows. One of which Don Cheadle started, funnily enough. Whoa. Yeah, before he became like a big star. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's funny, right? Um, But yeah, I love Lucy, like Garrett said. It's just so funny. It's so <laughs> clever and witty. It's really good. Yeah, you know, it, it's... Find a video of Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know like certain certain stars they 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 find like the perfect role for them and lucille ball finds like the perfect role in that show like she she makes or breaks the show in a way that i don't think many other actors make or break a role ever yeah yeah not to mention i mean there's could have been both ups and downs behind the scenes you know working with your spouse your your actual spouse playing your spouse you know so that i can just see a whole bunch of um a a lot of like first time things happen in that show Uh, i think it was the first time where they had a a a bed together or something like that um i don't think that happened for a long time in that show like i think for most of the show they had separate beds yeah but i think i think that show was like a pioneer and and breaking a lot of those kind of at the time normal uh social norms yeah you know, I, I wonder just really quickly, it's a qu- really fast aside. Did people watch that? And like, was that the norm? It, that could not have been the norm for most people. Like your you and your spouse had separate beds. Is that, yes. Yes. That, that was the really, norm. That's so weird to think that I'm not getting pushed off my bed. You, you know, have all the blankets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> have all, the whole blanket and all the pillow. Probably like, had your own lamp. It's crazy, man. Um, But yeah, that show is 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 great. Classic. Uh, So uh, listeners, again, pretty, pretty close similarly uh, i love lucy took the took the thing 74.2 percent to 25.8 and i uh, just want to make make the point that there were uh two back-to-back pac-mans you guys gave me so appreciate that you got to play that theme music in the background too yeah i'll try we'll see if i'm lazy or not all right roseanne or married with children okay so this was a show i i didn't watch either growing up i was i was kind of sheltered on the adult theme stuff like i wasn't allowed to watch simpsons but, you know, I, maybe because of that, even now I don't like watching Simpsons. It doesn't, it doesn't appeal to me. But seeing both these shows now today, Married with Children is hilarious. It is. It is hilarious. Roseanne is a little bit more, I feel like Roseanne is a, the sitcom comedy version of The Office. I feel like Roseanne is in the same vein as like all these other shows, like Family Matters and Full House. Like it doesn't, differentiate itself and i don't really enjoy roseanne Barr. absolutely 100 percent disagree roseanne you want to talk about broken homes from sister sister roseanne was a, a show about problems and it was about problems within your family problems dealing with with real issues yeah you know it's it's not that kind of family matters everyone's together full house you know uh, we come together at the end of every episode and and, and prevail kind of thing there's real issues in in this family and for it to be a, like a 90s show to finally break off from that normal kind of lovey-dovey family thing to just, ah, Dan, shut up, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And seeing seeing those kind of interactions, it was very different. And then they won the lotto. And that turned out to be a dream. Really? Yeah, that whole last season, I believe, was a dream. That's stupid. It, it, yeah, it, but I mean, you, what, nine seasons or something like that? It's a long it's, time. It's, well, it, yeah, they're you coming change back. Up. They're coming back, I think, this year or next year. They are coming back this year. Season. Yeah. They're coming back this year. But Married with Children, like, both these shows you couldn't air today. Married with Children, for sure. Yeah, Married with, air today. Married with Children could not be aired, yeah. I don't even know if it's if it would be allowed to be in it's it's syndication. In, yeah, it's in syndication that they're syndicated, but it's probably in very few channels. It is, it is mean it's funny <laughs> yeah. it's kind of cruel a little bit it makes it does it it's like south park and then it makes fun of a lot of people it makes fun of like fat people black people women poor people ugly people oh, yeah. stupid people like foreigners it makes fun of everybody like working class poor white man owl like everybody gets a ribbon yeah um you can't do that today no you can't you can't you can't do that the too, same way people are too sensitive yeah they're I'm waiting for him. Uh, yeah, they're 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 very sensitive. But this show was funny, and I just I just love the edginess of it. And just Al Ed O'Neill in this show is great, great. So that's that's my take. I agree. All right, uh, Married with Children, <laughs> love and marriage, baby. It's an institute you can't disparage. They won 
eighty percent to uh, Roseanne, eighty point six percent. I don't want to give any any extra to Roseanne <laughs> to her to her nineteen point four percent, and that's a reverse Pac Man there, guys. So thank you for that because it's different colors. Normally, you know the 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 first option if that wins it'll be blue. This is the the first the, fir- the first two were blue. This one is an orange Pac Man with a blue mouth. So thank and, you. And then you know if everybody chose. Other number option number three, we would have had a yellow. We could, yeah. If I make that mistake, all right. Uh, Saved by the Bell or Boy Meets World. So no surprise here. I didn't watch either. I I knew, but Topanga. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Boy Meets World is uh, it's just it's just better, man. In my opinion, like the same way that you felt about Roseanne Gare, I felt about Boy Meets World, where there were real issues and you kind of. It was a show that really centered specifically, for the first time in my opinion, on the, the kids. It really wasn't a show about the adults and they had kids. It was about the kids who had parents. Okay. Okay. I changed your perspective there. Yeah. That's fair. I, I I saw bits and pieces just didn't grasp me as much. I did watch a lot of Saved by the Bell, which does also deal with certain specific issues, but it does it in more of a more of a cheeky kind of way. You know, Zach's always, you know, panning out like freeze and everyone's just kind of pause and he just looks into the camera and those type of things. It's just, you know, it's funny. You know, Screech was his own little character and just everybody had had their own like thing going on in that show. And I think it was I think it was great. Um, Yeah, I can't I can't dispute that. That Saved by the Bell was a fun show. But for me, yeah, Boy Meets World was just it was more impactful. So. Uh, gotta give us a minute for everything to reload. Uh, the internet went out in our, in my house. The, all the lights went out, power went out. So everything's reloading here. Joshua shut down for some reason. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I will take Topanga over Kelly Kapowski though. Yeah. You know, you know though what, what all, what bothers me about Say by the Bell and a, a lot of these like TV shows for like high school and stuff. They have 31 year olds playing high school kids. Yeah, it bothers me. Like they're so big Today, and yeah. tall. Yep, yep. Like, they're not actually like when I was when I was a freshman in high school, and I was I was a uh, high school track and cross country coach for ten years. So I know what high school kids look like. They're five foot four. They're skinny. They're underdeveloped. They have acne. No one is six foot three. Like I mean, of course there are people who are six foot three, but the majority of them are children. I feel like an easy way past that, like say if you still want to get an actor to fit the role and they happen to be thirty or whatever, maybe make this the set and the props slightly bigger <laughs> to kind well, of look make them look smaller. What? What? Does, what? does that not make sense? It makes no sense. Why would you do that? So they're living in a, a world where they just look sm- uh, shorter, I shorter, slightly. Yeah, but the whole point of having the older people is because they want them to look like adults. They want them to look like sexy. I like, thought it was just because oh, these people can act. No, it's because the fourteen-year-old kid cannot act. Yes, they absolutely can. The kids in Stranger Things can't act. Uh, they're they're good actors. What are you talking about? Uh, I I don't think they're bad actors. If you if you think that the kids in Stranger Things are bad actors, then I, sorry, Gary, I question your ability to then like. Eleven's not that great. No, she's terrible, but she barely speaks. Yeah. So I mean, I don't even think she. Counts Will's as also acting. boring. Who? Will. Which which guy's that? That's the one that gets possessed. Oh. Well, because and Mike. Mike he's is bad. Mike, what? He Mike's is bad. No, he's not. He's not. Wow. I agree to disagree. Strange, Dustin's great. Stranger Things fan faves, everybody. Yeah. You, you, sir, you, sir, you don't, don't talk to me about Stranger Things anymore. You, you don't deserve it. All right. Last one. Oh, and oh I'm the, sorry. The number. Uh, saved by the bell. Uh, they, they won. They were saved by a narrow margin. 54.8%, uh, to Boy Meets World's 45.2%. <laughs> you guys, listeners, uh, Who are you? Looks like it didn't go in our favor, Garrett. It, it did. I'm sure it did, but he's shocked that there were any votes for the... Yeah. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air or Friends. No, Shame I, on you. I chose this because I had to find something to compare to. Nothing for us, for me, nothing beats Fresh Prince. That's like number one. But there's a lot of people that really religiously watched Friends, like over and over and over. And that that was the 90s show. Friends is friends is for good. A lot of people. I mean, it's funny. It's it's interesting. It, it's it's a different take than you see a lot of times on on TV back in those early nineties. Um, it is it is a good show. It's uh, it's just not the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It is not. That's, that's it. My sister was torn. My sister Shivani. She was like, "How could you make me do this?" Because she loves Friends, but she was like, "But I gotta go with my gut." 
Got to go with the prince. I said, damn right, you got to go with him. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just a better show. I mean, it, it's fine, you know. I, I love their theme song. So, I mean, both of them, but Friends <laughs> is a good theme song. Clap, 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 clap. No one told you life was going to be this way. That, that's not that's not how it goes. It goes, like, so no, no one told you life was going to be this way. Clap, you're, clap, clap, clap. You're, that, you're, the claps are in there. Yeah, but you got to do the rest. Your job's a joke. You're broke. Your love life's DOA. But, but there is a clap after that. Yeah, first. but you got to do the rest. He just clapped and didn't do anything else. That's a, that was so, my cue. Yeah, that's it. We're not doing the whole song, Johnny. We don't got time for that. No, I'm with Joshua on this one. Looks like your life's always stuck in second gear. And when it hasn't been your day, your month, or even your year. This is a day. What right might be right for you may not be right for some. All right. Uh, Fresh Prince obviously won 83.9% to... Uh, to 16.1% of you shaming yourselves into picking friends. This is a story. <laughs> but you- <laughs> <laughs> All about how this podcast got flipped upside down. Yep. So 16.1% of you guys chose friends. Fresh Prince took that pie. All right, guys. That was a lot of fun. Um, Crunch for time. We got to move on. Yep. Part of that. Well, part of it's kind of skewed because we had to wait like for the time to come back on. But anyway, yeah, that's cutting into our time. Let's 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 move on. Take the poll. Thank you. All right, so Dragon Ball Fighters or Fighter Z, we'll be discussing that. We've been playing that for the last several days as it released last week, and um, I think it definitely warrants a discussion. We will still have our Monster Hunter World discussion and review, uh, but because that game has just a lot of content, it takes a lot more to really get a good scope and grasp of it. Um, so Dragon Ball Z Fighters, guys, what do you think? This is where we should have did our Rock Those like ending like voice over. Maybe. Yeah. Go ahead. Rock the Dragon. Uh, <laughs> this game's awesome. This this is a fighting game that is is good, and I'm glad to see it doing good. This game is super fun as Goku goes to try to take over everybody with his former teammates. Or something okay, like okay. That. At the takeover, I was going. I was leading towards something else. No, this this game is freaking addictive. It is amazing. I heard somebody named Sonic Fox say that this game is crack. I agree with him. <laughs> I've never done crack. Or tried it, but <laughs> so I can't. I can't necessarily relate. But this game is a lot of fun. It's it, it's it pops so well on the screen. It it's pretty much just like watching a very clean anime. It's a beautiful game. It's it's very well done. The music is great. What I love about fighting games is when you have characters that have like very specific dialogue during the match. Yes, not just like their move sets, but they're calling out, "Oh, you got me on that one. I'm gonna kill you." Like they have this in this game, and it relates to characters that associate with each other from the franchise, and I love that. Yeah, they do a really good job of having. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call them Easter eggs, but I would say that, you know, they're, they're just little additions. That References. They didn't, yeah, they're a little addition they didn't need to add in. So much. You know, um, sometimes they'll have, like, small different animations for someone fighting a different character or the words they say, like you said. So those are really good things. It's very true to the show, and it's very true to the, to the comic. So when the game first started showing character trailers, what they did was they did a side-by-side. Like, they showed, like, a good chunk of Trunks' moveset, and they showed – that same exact move or you know ability and how it was implemented in the comics and how it was literally like frame for frame manga uh sorry manga manga it was frame for drawing on I- identical and it was it was pretty spot on it was great love it kicked your butt you did yeah, you did. I, I think the game is fun, and I definitely can see how it's much better than uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom series right now, where that one's kind of. It's kind of in the dumps a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's some things I don't like about the game. I, 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 I want to play it more or see people play or, or look to see if those things might change. There's a lot of cheese in this game, and that's something I don't like. Uh, to be fair, I, I do think there is a way out of it. Just I, it hasn't been done to me yet. I, I was doing it. Johnny and I were playing yesterday, and I was using Super Saiyan God Goku. Yeah. Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. <clears throat> and uh I was able to do my my X combo uh or light light combo. And uh if I got him in the corner, I was able to end my combo with a kind of a downward kick. Uh and in doing that, I landed on the ground before him after smacking him down and was able to do another light attack uh combo before he could really react. Mm-hmm. And so 
I'm sure there's a way out, like either the the problem with with the I think <clears throat> Goku's light combo is that there's a lot of low high uh, low high attacks, and so you have to know the combo string to know how to block. Mm-hmm. And then there's also uh, the uh, the recovery that you can do in in uh, midair if, by tapping X Y or or B mm-hmm. and uh, that kind of thing. But uh, Johnny was not able to get out, and like Super Saiyan God Goku just kind of took the team yeah he, he would just press if he got me in the corner he would just press x indefinitely and i can't block through it i can't like push him back like i would literally stand like because it's the first attack you know it's a high it's a high attack or it's a you know i can stand a standing block but i couldn't i couldn't even press backwards when i hit the ground to stop him from hitting me he would just all he would just get the auto attack and so i, I could literally just hold backwards or down back or whatever and i could never not block yeah, there there are different there are more mechanics to the game than that. You can actually uh guard cancel and bring out a second you know, one of your other but characters. I, have to guard. To I mean you're always should be guarding if you're not on the offense. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I would get knocked down and I couldn't I couldn't put a guard on. Like if you get knocked down in a Street Fighter and then you stand up, you get your guard. As long as you press backwards and it's not like an overhead if you're blocking low or a low attack if you're blocking as a standing block. You can do that in this game too. I'm telling you that I could not get a I could not get a block in. Well, because after you actually at once you finish a combo in the air, if they hit B, it's a hard it's a hard knockdown, and you don't you don't have immediate recovery. You have to take whatever extra hit or super once you hit the ground. Yeah, but it, that shouldn't that shouldn't continue to to allow him to do an infinite combo. It, or or like I mean I mean we don't have to mince words over too much. Or like there are other issues I have where it's very difficult when someone's just pressing X, you know, the light combo. For, th- for their combo string to be done, for then you to respond with your own combo. Like, you'll block it, you'll attempt to start your combo, but if you just could get hit by them doing it again. It's true. It's, 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 if you never played a fast, frantic fighting game, like Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, you, you're gonna have a hard time because you're not used to a very minimal, th- I will agree that this has a very minimal window for um, the character for that's on the offensive to recover so you can enter a block string or get out. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's really a very small hard. window. It's really hard to punish uh, in this game, like because if even if you successfully block a uh, dragon, not not the dragon rush, but the the one where if someone's blocking, you, you do the the multiple punches and knock them up. Oh yeah, it's pretty much like a grab. Yeah, it's basically a grab. Uh, if you block that grab, the normally you should be able to then punish the person who attempted to grab you. No, you're talking about the dragon rush. The dragon no. rush is the one where you fly over and you like you hit them and then you knock them up. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Well, the grab animation where it does a bunch of punches and kicks. Yeah, and then if you block or cancel that out, you're both just like fighting. Yeah, that was never reset. a problem for me. Like that's fine. Well, if we we had talked about it, how the person blocking was not able to punish. No, that that because you can't block that. You can't block that grab. Like you, you, like your character g- glows with a green aura. I'm sorry, sorry, you're right. Yes. Yeah, it is the dragon rush. Yeah, it's the dragon rush. My apologies. Yeah, you, you would, you would do that, and then you, I blocked it, so I, you should, you should be very vulnerable because you just f-ed up, and so I should just be able to hit the crap out of you. And a lot of times, you can press X and get an attack in mid air before I can punish you. Why? Yeah, yeah. Why is that? The recovery from the dragon rush is faster than the recovery from the block. It it depends. You can punish that, but. You- you're better off blocking it or jumping in the air or doing a, you know, teleport behind them. Like they're depending on the distance and like what they're trying to do. There are ways to punish that. You just have to read the opponent. It it just seems a little. It's, it's hard. It it's, seems it's hard. I just feel like the the character who's making the error should be at a much more a much higher disadvantage than the person who 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 caught the block. Because I stopped your attack, but but those these are these are issues that I have with just the combat. Yeah. But the game overall can be fun. It probably is more fun, but that. That pissed me off. Like, why can you just literally? I'm watching his button. And he's just pressing X as fast as he can with his thumb. That's not. That's not fun. Yeah, I mean, you you just gotta learn the game. Yeah, maybe. W- w- once I figure this game out, you're gonna be so mad at me, John. M- maybe we'll see. I mean, I will destroy you. I guess if you're good at pressing X, then I I, I, lose. I don't use auto combos. Well, we'll see. That that was that was my biggest gripe. Uh, but- is there something to do other than auto combos? I mean, you can you can do those same exact combos without doing auto combos. Auto combos essentially is an easy way for you to. The game will allow you to do combos, you know, whether you are professional or not, and just it makes the game. Uh, accessible to to any and everybody. Okay, I but you can't. Whole... But you can't maximize just mashing X. I, I thought the whole point of the game was just it, it was a simplified casual game. 
I mean, it I told is. You, you were wrong about that. It, it is for those that are casual players, but there's a whole like, like if you watch any professional players like play the game, they're doing extended combos, they're doing dragon rush combos off of wall bounce combos. Like you can't do that just by mashing X. Okay, there's a whole another side of the game that you can unlock once you figure out how the mechanics actually work and once you you know play with the the uh, practice mode. Okay, that's fine. You so, uh, in, in addition to just, you know, 1v1, they have, they have a bunch of different online modes. They have arcade mode. Uh, you can, you can, uh, have big, uh, group battles as, as far as, you know, a group of 20 people and then it's 1v1 and then you switch out and rotate. The, the ring matches? Yeah, winner stays on, loser stays on. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it. You can have spectators. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of colors. You can get like, what, 5, 12? Costume like colors character. for characters. Uh, the game has its own little hub world, and you can pick a character that's essentially like a like a Dorbs, like a little chibi <laughs> little, version. Yeah, a little little pop, <laughs> little pop figure. Interact with different people that have a bunch of different emojis that you can put. There's a lot of there's a lot of depth to this game, and what I like is it's if you're a Dragon Ball fan, it's it's a must play. It's a little bit different from your traditional Tenkaichi game because that's a 3d world this is a 2d fighting game 3v3 i think there's a good roster there in the beginning they're adding nine eight or nine dlc characters so i'm curious to see what those characters are going to be but i think this is just a fun game it's fun to watch it's extremely fun to watch and it's just very visually impressive i think people should definitely check it out and it sucks that this game is not on switch because w- i think it would be a big hit on switch if, i mean yeah it might be so. Yeah, still time. Uh, there are a couple st- complaints. The the menu system, uh, I d- I don't think is is too great. How many menus have to go through just to start the game? I mean, yeah, the way the game is set up is it's it's centered around lobbies, so they have different regions, and in each region, you know, you have USA, and then you have Japan, and then you have you know the you know South Americas, and then inside the region, there's different lobbies, and a lobby has a max of sixty four players. And when you have characters go in the lobby, you can interact with other players and that's how you can have ring matches and do other cool things. So the thing that sucks is in, you know, Johnny, I was playing for the first time and Johnny hit me up. He's like, Hey, how to invite me. I want to join your, your session. And you have to find the same lobby. You have to look up the same lobby, join the same lobby before you can play with anybody else. That's, that's not intuitive no it's not that sounds yeah, like a their, problem their menus are trash there's no question it's it's a it's a zero out of ten like it is garbage <laughs> it doesn't doesn't make any sense why i can't just press start have the options to play local to local play arcade yeah. story mode right there available i have to go in this hub world and walk it, it's 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 ludicrous um last thing that i have we're running out of time here is story mode also trash garbage it's like a two out of ten i'm i don't know 15 percent in it I mean, it's as far as the story is concerned. From what I've seen, it's it's, it's not that great. It's trash, man. Like it's <laughs> trash. But 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 the animation and just it just looks like a, a comic strip come to life. Like that it, that part's kind of it cool. looks like the TV show, which is fine. But like just the way it was put out is, I mean, they they definitely focus all their efforts on the gameplay. It seems like just to for better or worse. But uh, yeah, the rest of that game. I mean, you can't have a. You can't have a fighting game without a story mode anymore. I mean, I, you saw what happened to Street Fighter V and Marvel vs. Capcom. I mean, Injustice did it right. Didn't Marvel vs. Capcom have that. a story mode? Uh, it, it did. Was a, it was a very trashy one. Oh, yeah, they're, they're normally bad. But, 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 it, but it's like it's not like a core. Like, they just threw it in there. Yeah. And that's kind of where this one feels like. It feels like it was just thrown in there. Yep. All right. All right, guys. Well, that's our take on uh, Dragon Ball Z. Good fighter. Uh, mechanics, in my opinion, maybe need some work, some of that cheese. And yeah, menus are trash. Just got to learn to eat the cheese, man. Fix, 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 fix the trash in this game. All right. That is, uh, that's Dragon Ball Z. Play it. All right, guys. It is time for, oh no. It's time for Gamer Trivia. So every week, two of us go head-to-head in a best-of-three trivia contest. The winner stays and plays next week. New champion or, or or keeps their crown. Loser, you know, they're 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 on they're on trivia duty next week. So play along. See how much gamer knowledge you have in Gamer Trivia. I won last week, which means uh, I believe I'm going up against Garrett. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All yep. right. Let's uh, do this. What was it? Darkwing Duck Trivia? Yes. I told you before the end of that trivia, I already knew what I was going to do. So... Sometimes 
some crimes go, <laughs> go slipping through the cracks. All right, another Disney uh, Disney trivia. Mm-hmm. You know what it is? Yes. <laughs> Chippendale Rescue Rangers. All right. All right. I'm going to lose. Maybe. Why? I don't know. I've probably watched seven <clears throat> episodes of this. I I know I don't even know the names of the main characters. But that's but, a problem. Uh, yeah, that's a big problem. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't know the show at all. I, I unless I get extremely lucky, I I will lose. I have it, no knowledge it's of the show. happened before. I, mean, I literally know Chip and Dale and I don't know anything else about the show. Oh, I don't know the name of their their Lord. blimp or their their ride where they live. I mean, I don't know half that information either, but I know none of it, but let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. You have 25% chance of getting each question right. All right. Question number one. (laughs) All right. Question number one. Someone on Team Rescue Rangers is named after a type of dairy. You follow me so far? I know what dairy is. Okay. I just don't want you to do what you did (laughs) in Land Before Time. Everyone (laughs) agreed that you didn't explain it right. That's why I'm just making sure. So don't ask me. Ask Garrett because he felt the same way. So next time, ask Garrett that question. All right. So there's a character named after a type of dairy. What type of dairy is this character named after? Is it A, milk? Is it B, cheese? Is it C, egg? Or is it D, yogurt? I have Garrett's answer. I have Johnny's answer. So, Johnny, you have picked B. Character is named after cheese. Garrett, you also said B. Character is named after cheese. And the correct answer is B. Monterey Jack. Who is who is that? That's the big one that loves cheese. Ah, yeah. I don't I don't know who that uh, is. I, I got I, super I lucky. That was a, I thought that was a joke. No, I, I literally have no clue. <laughs> you played it real cool and real serious. All right, so that's correct for both of you guys. All right. Yeah, no clue. All right. S- scores one one. <laughs> so much luck. It, hey, Chip and Dale. Have unique outfits that are a nod to another franchise. Who are these characters modeled after? Is it A, Indiana Jones? Is it B, Magnum P.I.? Is it C, both A and B? Or is it D, none of these? Repeat the answers. A, Indiana Jones. B, Magnum P.I. C, both A and B, or D, none of these. I have Garrett's answer and Johnny's answer. Both of you have picked C. It is Indiana Jones and Magnum P.I. And the correct so, answer are, are is... You, are, you, uh, are you pulling the Lucille? Or <laughs> are you trying to hustle me? Or I'm literally guessing. I have no clue on these answers. Correct answer is C. Both Chip and Dale are named or modeled after those characters, so that's correct for both of you guys. Score is 2-2. I have a fun fact. I only get to do one, though. The names Chip and Dale were chosen as a humorous wordplay. They are named in reference to Thomas Chippendale, that's the last name, uh, who was an influential cabinet maker and furniture designer in the 18th century. Weird. Yeah. The guy didn't even know that he was going to be part of a cartoon. All right. Question number three. Gadget, hint, hint, plays a prominent role in the show. She's a pilot, a creator, and an inventor. She is an asset to the Rescue Rangers and a part of the team. What is Gadget's last name? Is it A, Hack Wrench? Is it B, Socket? Is it C, Hot Rod? Or is it D, Tinker? I have Johnny's answer. And I have Garrett's answer. Johnny, you said B. Your name is her name is Gadget Socket. Garrett, you said D. Her name is Gadget Tinker. The correct answer is A. It's Gadget Hack Wrench. Dang. Play on words because she does all the crazy stuff. That is incorrect for both of you guys. Alrighty. We ride together, we die together. Yeah, apparently. Rescue Rangers for life. Score is 2-2, which means we have a tie game in this three-question trivia. So it's time for the run back, the bonus question. You know how it works. You can bet as many points as you have. If you get the question right, you gain that many points. If you get the question wrong, you lose that many points. Yep, plus the question is now worth just two points by itself. So even if you bet zero points, you still get two points if you get it right. 
correct? Yep. Okay. I think that's what we agreed on. Yep. Changing it up. So I have Garrett's bet, and I have Johnny's bet. The question is, what is the name of the Rescue Rangers' biggest rival who wears a purple business suit and is the crime boss of the animal world? Johnny's shaking his head. Oh, yeah. I, I got no clue. Well, I have Garrett's answer. He's feeling pretty confident over there. Well, yeah, he's a fan of the show. Of course, of course he's feeling confident. <laughs> he knew most of these answers. As did you, sir. No, I guess most of these answers, luckily. All right, I have Johnny's answer. Johnny, your answer to me was Mouse Van Mousekins. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. that is, uh, I'll just say right now, that is incorrect. <laughs> okay. This character probably wants to eat mice for breakfast. Garrett. Probably eats a lot of mice. You said the answer is Fat Cat. It's Fat Cat. Fat Cat. Got a big, long, curly whisker. Smoked some cigars. The correct answer is indeed Fat Cat. Yes. I wasn't sure on the name. It is Fat Cat. For the points, Garrett, you bet two points, which means you go up to four and you get a bonus two for getting the question right. So that puts you up to six. Johnny, you bet zero points. So you don't lose any points, but you don't gain any points mm-hmm. either. All right. Score is six to two, which means Garrett wins Chippendale Rescue Rangers trivia. Yes. Good, 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 good. Garrett <laughs> wins the trivia. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, do you have to say yes to a show that you, I had no hope of winning? I mean, I mean, you, I, you got lucky two out of three questions, and I, mean, I also I'd, missed one of them. That'd be like if I was like, yes, I beat Garrett in BoJack Horseman trivia. Well, I, I mean, Garrett. That would be a deserved is, victory. No, Disney. it would be nothing. He is the Disney guy, so I didn't pick this trivia because it was Disney. Just as soon as I heard Darkwing Duck, I'm like, I'm going to lose. Ah, Rescue Rangers would be great. I, it's fine. I'm not mad. I, mean, I, I had no, I had, I, I just, knew I had no chance yeah, to win. It's just so one I of the ones you didn't happen to yeah, watch. I can't, I can't be. No, I, I did DuckTales once. I can't, I can't be mad that uh, I lost if I had no chance. So, yeah. did you win DuckTales trivia? I don't know. I don't remember either. No, I didn't because you pissed me off. No, I said, think you still won. No, Just, I didn't. I remember you were pissed off about that l- number one dime. Because I got the no, answer right. you lost because yeah. of that, yeah. remember? But I, I knew nothing <clears throat> about that show. Yeah. No, so I'm pretty sure you won right. that one. No, he didn't win that one. I didn't one. win that you one. You didn't win that one because I didn't give him the, the, the word point. Yeah, because it was, it was ass. ass. You were <laughs> asshole in there. All right. Congrats, Garrett. Let's move on. All right, guys. So Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar has confirmed a release date, and that release date is October 26th of this year, 2018. So we didn't know if it was coming out this year, but it is now. So what does that mean for gaming? I mean, we we didn't know, but we kind of knew. I told you it wasn't going to be spring. That's fair. Um, I'm not putting too much uh, faith in it right now, because anything could happen. So... It's nice that we have a kind of idea when it's going to come out, but I imagine uh, it, it, this could get pushed back. You think they're going to pull? You think they're going to pull a Watchdogs? Nah, it ain't getting pushed. Hopefully not. It won't. I don't think it'll get pushed. I think this is their date. I think they're sticking to it. I don't think they would say spring and then push it to October and then push it back again, unless something drastically changed and they needed to add something else in there. Yeah, it's 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 coming out this year, which is I think a good thing for gaming. They need a big AAA title to to release that's going to be multi-platform, and I don't know if there's another game that's going to fit that mold. So yeah, I'm excited for this, and uh, it'll it should be fun. All right, so uh, what does that mean for uh, for other games? Like you know, we got God of War coming out, The Last of Us Two should be coming out, um, Crackdown Three. There are other big games coming out, but does this push them hmm. to the back burner for the year or? Well, I don't think Last of Us is coming out this year, but God of War is April, so you know, uh, yeah, three months, or actually, that's five months farther out. Yeah, uh, people will be done with God of War by then. Crackdown 3 is not going to come out this year. You don't, <laughs> you think, don't so? think so? I do not think so. Dang, maybe Halo, if we're lucky. No, there won't be a Halo this year. They haven't They haven't talked about it at all. Because <laughs> they got nothing E3? to talk about. No, uh, that, that may be true, too. Uh, I think that you know, you'll still have your, your Call of Duty game. I think you'll still have... You know, your sports titles are going to come out. I still think there's going to be a big Ubisoft title that will probably drop. Now, whether it's big in popularity or just big as in their franchise games, I don't know. But there will also be there'll be other games that come out. I don't think I don't think Red Dead is going to pass Call of Duty sales, but I think it'll be close. I don't know. Grand Theft Auto surpassed uh, Call of Duty. 
Yeah, it, it'll it'll be Call of Duty numbers for sure. I mean, it well, dep- then again, it, it depends on what Call of Duty game they bring to the forefront. <laughs> it depends on who's working on this one. No, it actually it doesn't. I actually I, I changed my answer. You, you hawking up a lung over there? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Uh, yeah, I I changed my answer. No, it won't be. It won't be Call of Duty. Grand Theft Auto is in a whole other realm than Red Dead Redemption. It doesn't matter that it's Rockstar. What matters is that it's 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 Grand Theft Auto. I agree with that. Yeah, Yeah. we'll see. I got faith. I I have. Well, I have faith it'll be Call of Duty. I don't have faith it's coming on October twenty sixth. I I would be willing to bet money on this if you would like to. Why is it it gotta be another bet? Well, what else do you want to bet? Why is it gotta be a thing? A bet. Because I called it a bet. That's that's the point of a bet. Like you you disagree on two things. You have differing opinions. Well, let's p- let's put some money where your mouth is. Um, but yeah, it won't it won't do it. Just, it doesn't have as big enough of a following. People like being a gangster and, and killing people and getting fancy cars and less so. I think people like Wild Wild West. Yeah, it's just just, just the way it is. There um, are a lot of Rockstar fans and Red Dead fans, and those people will gravitate. But I don't think it's gonna be the top of the MPD charts. Um, I, I agree. So, all right, cool. Anything else? Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I think that it will definitely be in the run, in the running for game of the year. Like there's was red, red dead was red dead. Redemption was game of the year when that was out. Right. I don't think it was. I'm pretty sure it just got a game of the year edition. Yeah. I mean, it didn't they they, they do that a lot. Oh. You didn't get game of the year, but you got a game of the year version. Well, I mean, I'm sure it got game of the year to someone somewhere. But it wasn't the game of the year from one of the ones that we consider to be like the prestigious. Yeah. Now, what I will say is I didn't I didn't buy this game, but I had a roommate, uh, Robert. He was infatuated this game. I will say that Rockstar had great content, post-launch content for uh, Red Dead. Especially when you look at Undead Nightmares and you take a whole new twist. That was back when zombie games were you know popular. Yeah, Left 4 Dead and... What Call of Duty had introduced zombies and uh, some other stuff. Also, just the things you can do in the game. You could just go into a saloon and play cards and craps or yeah, gamble, play horseshoes or something. So stuff like that, I'm sure they'll integrate more of. So that way it's more of a community-based thing. And then also Red Dead Online didn't launch with that game, right? It came down the line. I believe it did. So if, you're, if you, you're correct. So if you take what Grand Theft Auto, what they've done with Grand Theft Auto and so much post game content after launch, and if they implement that with Red Dead 2, I think that will help flourish the game into something completely different and maybe even last longer than the first game did. Yeah. I mean, and then also same thing with GTA. It didn't release with its online components for Very a true. long time. Yeah, actually, it was... <laughs> Like two years, right? It's been a long time. And yeah. there's, uh, they just launched, uh, what the, the heist or well, it was a, a month or two ago, but yeah, they're continuing to do free updates and DLC. So still, if Red Dead does something similar, then it could, it could pay off pretty well. People are buying shark cards up the yin yang. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, that is, uh, that's our take on Red Dead two and, uh, it coming out in 2018. We'll see if that's the case and we'll see if Garrett's willing to put some money down. I don't, I don't think he will. But uh, I'd like him to make a breakfast bed or something. He can't cook. Well, you can buy you breakfast. No, Denny's versus IHOP. I That's him putting money where his mouth is. Uh, <laughs> All right, okay. here we go. All right, guys, speed run. Every week we'll break down ten news stories and fun facts that didn't make the list for a full segment. We give ourselves one minute per topic before we move on to the next, finished or not. You gotta go fast. Super duper 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 fast in the speed run. This March, South by Southwest Gaming will feature a Sonic panel titled Gotta Go Fast, the official Sonic the Hedgehog panel. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, don't, I don't care. Oh, well, I was gonna, what I, I guess I got cut off. It's going to debut a new uh, Sonic game. They're going to talk about what's next for Sonic. Hopefully Sonic Adventure 3. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, w- I would take some type of... Sonic Adventure game. I'm okay with that. It's been a while. I, I, I'd really like to see it. I mean, I like. I did like Sonic Heroes. Uh, I didn't play Sonic Boom, either of the games. I didn't play Sonic Rush, which was on the Game Boy Advance, I think. Why Why? Why would you pull that out? Just because the way I... I mean, the Sonic game could be a mobile game. It could uh, be a handheld know. game. I mean, Sonic Mania was awesome. Yeah, it was, it was great. awesome. I didn't play Sonic Forces. Next. PETA. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals is asking Nickelodeon to make a change to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, hoping that the pizza-loving crew will become vegans in the upcoming reboot. Their quote, 
Modern kids are embracing vegan food, so why shouldn't modern Ninja Turtles? Ninja Turtles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep, that whole thing, um, and that's what you want to pick out. That's what I got. All yep. right. I don't care about this. Really? It doesn't matter to me. So no. you're okay if the turtles are vegans? doesn't matter. They can't eat... I mean, what, they eat vegan pizza? Is There is such a thing as vegan pizza, yes. I mean, well, yeah, cheese pizzas. Like, you can just, just don't put... I mean, it'll look the same. Do they... I mean, sure, it'll wait, look the same, wait, but do they have vegan, to say vegan vegan's pizza? Vegan's different. They Be- can't have pepperoni anymore. They can't have cheese if you're vegan. The, cheese comes from animals. There's fake There's fake cheese. There's fake cheese. There I mean, is. I think the common is dumb. Like, kids like vegan food. Why can't turtles? Like, because... This is because a fictional character. And the parents Characters. are forcing the kids to like vegan food. Yeah. By the way, the art style is... I do not agree with the art style. It's a little group. weird. That's an understatement. It's terrible. <laughs> it's the crappiest look for the turtle I've ever seen. And There's this is this is, this is us living in a Michael Bay world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bit harsh. But uh, no, no. Leave leave the turtles alone. Yeah, let, let them keep eating their pizza. Next. The SNES Classic now has sold over 4 million units worldwide. That's a solid number. It's a good number. I mean, keep pumping them out, Nintendo. I, yeah. I don't know if I've ever s- seen any, but I, then again, I don't go shopping for SNES Classics. Exactly, because, well, we already got them. Yeah. But 4 million is, what, has, has it, that was in September, right? Is that when it came out? I think it came out before that. No, September no, of last September, year? No, September, yeah. September of last year. So half a year has gone by and you sold 4 million of those. That's pretty solid. See what happens when you make enough? Yes, do that again. I mean, you're not splintering the community between Switch and SNES Classic. Clearly not. So, I mean, I mean, what's what's 80 bucks? I mean, I don't know. Still pretty good. Next. The upcoming Crow reboot has now found its leading role. Jason Momoa will now play the role of Eric Draven in the movie titled The Crow Reborn. It's an interesting choice. Not, uh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Jason Momoa I like. I, I don't know if The Crow, like a kind of gothic somber kind of you know just dark and gloomy yeah. person i don't know if that's jason momoa i mean he's got the long hair <laughs> i mean aquaman was kind of like that in the beginning of and Justice the eyeshadow League. yeah yeah there's all eyeshadow is also very important for the crow <laughs> as well as all the makeup on his face yes yeah mr crow needs that just just make sure all the all the stunts are done safely that's and securely uh, yeah make sure that there's no, there's no loaded, loaded guns yeah, please please no for, and for otherwise, props, yeah. Otherwise, we can't play the Aquaman movie. No, I'm. I did watch the Crow. Crow's a it's a good classic movie. Solid. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna have a good reboot. Isn't Raiden in it? Raiden? Yeah, the guy that plays Raiden. Oh, I was like, was Raiden? In? Uh, I I don't know. They haven't really said much about this movie. Well, not in the original. Uh, oh. Christopher Lambert, I believe, I, is like the head so mafia it's guy. Been so long since you I've just seen said movie. you watched it. Next, I met the trailer. Oh. Uh, what, what am I reading here? Six. Okay. Carlos Sanchez, an ordinary man, bet his wife that if he could get one million likes from a Facebook post, he could name his son Goku. Carlos met the target, and his wife posted the picture saying she is keeping her word. This used to be like old news where you get a bunch of people like, if I can get a million likes, this is going to happen. And then it just <laughs> stopped. And then this came up. And it's actually not just on social media. It's, I met a couple news reads, so... It's kind of interesting. Dragon so, Ball is coming to the forefront. So this guy's son, Goku, is going to be called Son Goku. <laughs> I <laughs> I don't like this. Have you met my son, Goku? <laughs> <laughs> Have you met my son, Goku? <laughs> you don't like it? No. And don't do How I Met Your Mother references. You don't watch the show. No. Uh, yeah, like, I don't like the whole, like, oh, if, my, if, if you give me some likes, you, my wife will let me grow, grow some balls, man. Like, if... Just talk it out like an adult. I'm, I I look at it as it's more of just a fun thing to do, just to see if you can. Yeah, I look at it like, you know, if you want to do something, just figure it out. I don't know. It's just me. Well, that's what bets turn into, right? You have a dispute <laughs> and you're like, well, yeah, I'll bet you if I do this, then, I'll, then I'm going to win. And this is where I'm going to stay. If they, But they don't phrase it. They don't phrase it like, hey, I bet my wife that I couldn't get a million likes. If I do, I can. Ordinary man bet his wife that if he could get one million likes. No, no, no. That's not what they say. They say the, the posters and the things say, if I get a million y- likes, my wife will let me. Oh, yeah, because they're not going to say it in a bet because everyone will just because it's a bet. I'm going to I'm going to shoot for the underdog. That's who he is. The underdog. Well, he got That's it. Without, exactly. They would still help him. Yeah. Don't say my wife My wife will let me do this, please. God, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think you're looking into it. Next. 
Bandai Namco announces a Tekken mobile game releasing on three different dates worldwide. Also in different regions, they it's interesting how they have the release date set up. Like we are one of the we are the last date that we're gonna get this mobile game. No, I mean we, we were the last to get Tekken Seven. That's true too. Bandai Namco clearly doesn't like us very much. We clearly don't buy Tekken very much though. So eh, the West yeah. gets all the late stuff. This is interesting. This I don't care. But I I only think this is interesting only because it it it's coming. I mean I know you don't like it, but this is where every game is going. Oh, I'm sure. Hey, have you booted up uh, Fire Emblem Heroes? Okay, that's... I mean, what's last time... You, when, Run? when did you last play your no, 3DS no, and not. Fire Emblem? I played my 3DS yesterday. Finally, after months of it being in sleep mode. But Fire so Emblem just, Heroes is the mobile game. Well, I'm, I'm saying just randomly, though, because he's making he's making a joke that Fire Emblem isn't getting played. But he himself wasn't not, playing his Fire Emblem it. game until... Yeah. I really did. They keep sending me messages about <laughs> free orbs. <laughs> of course they do. Yeah. One year anniversary or something. So your your argument is invalid, sir. I this disagree. Is, this is you just started playing yesterday. Had I asked you this no, question? No, no, I started playing like a week ago. Okay, but... But you asked when was the last time I played it yesterday. Yeah, and if he started playing yesterday, then Tek- there you go. Tekken is popular. It'll be good as a mobile game. I think it'll be good as an iPad game, but we'll see how it looks and plays. They said they're going to announce a new character. <laughs> Next. What? Far Cry 5's DLC will include three packs, having players traverse Mars, kill a horde of zombies, and battle Viet Cong soldiers in Vietnam. We're going some places. Yeah, that's... <laughs> we're going outside the norm. We're going from Montana to... I don't know, the moon. Mars. Space? Space. Uh, the, apocalypse. The, I, I'm kind past. of worried. I hope this doesn't get the the kind of Call of Duty treatment where Call of Duty went to space. Infinite Warfare. I think this is more like, um, what was that Far Cry? Uh, Blood Dragon. Yeah, I think it's more like that, where it's just kind of still crazy fun gameplay in just a completely different realm, okay. but in, in the Far Cry universe. Yeah, yeah that, that would be fun. Kind of like how Saints Row 3 did, where it's just like completely out of the norm. Saints Row the Third. I remember Saints Row the Third. Digital Virtual World. You no, know? that was the fourth. Okay, then never mind. The fourth game. There we go. Just completely out of the norm, but hey, it's in our game, so play it. Gotcha. Next. Already? Oh, this is a minute. The Nintendo Switch has officially outsold the lifetime sales of the Wii U console. The Switch has done in less than one year what the Wii U couldn't do in four years. Sell over 13.56 million units. That's an astounding accomplishment. You outsold your last generation console in less than a year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wii U, man. They had some good games. They really did. Yeah. Yeah. They had Smash. They did have Smash. the best Smash game on there. They did have Smash. You're awfully quiet in the speeder, man. Well, I don't have I don't have uh, an opinion on the Wii U other than that Smash is uh, not uh, it's not the best Smash Brothers. But it's, it's up there. It, it's it second, is, for it, sure. It's the best one. Uh, so if you, you may be sure you don't have a, an opinion on the Wii U, but what about the outstanding sales of the Switch? Yeah, I'm outselling said they, the Wii U. I'd say they did a good job in the past. They're doing a good job. That's just, I mean, the, the, is, does that say more about the Switch or does it say more about the Wii U? It says more about the Switch. I think the Switch is doing well, yeah. This is good for the Switch, but the Wii U was a pretty rough system. I, I think, honestly, it was unfairly, like, ripped on sometimes. Yeah. So. Yeah. I can agree with that. I mean,. Keep it going, Nintendo. You got a lot of stuff going on. Next. Nintendo, in other news, has just announced a Mario Kart mobile game called Mario Kart Tour. This is going to be releasing sometime in the early fiscal year of 2019. And mobile keeps on growing. Twice on the same speed run. It's going to happen more and more. Oh, I was like, Nintendo's twice in the speed run. That (laughs) that should be a plus. I actually am excited for this. I think if they... they make the online infrastructure work on a mobile game, I think this will do really, really well. Implement racing. If you Imagine battle mode and other cool modes, unlockable characters. There's a ton of different characters they could put. Uh, old tracks, new tracks. Maybe I'm just a cynic, but we've said pretty much the same thing about Mario Run. Mario Run was a If fun they do game. it right, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, it was really fun, though. For a week... Yeah, Maybe see, too. but you do that, but be, be, you're they saying you start somewhere. Yeah, you're, you're, you keep saying that like we're, we're not playing them very long, but we're playing them. There's a ton of games that you're not touching on your console, just sitting there after a few weeks. Was Mario Run worth your ten dollars? No, because I didn't buy it. Oh well, there you go. You didn't even play the whole dang thing. I yeah. played the first world. That, Is that not enough to learn the game or to know what the game entails? Would can- that work for uh, for Monster Hunter? I played the first mission. 
the first mission is not the first world. If it was like a, the first land or something. All right, I did that. It's I like pl- a beta. I, I played the first world. I got to the sand place. So am I done with Monster Hunter now? Should I say that it's complete? No, but that's not what I'm saying. Can you can you adequately tell if you like the game or not? Yes, and then I can there do, you go. I could do that with the first world of Mario and know it's a good game. I could. I did the same exact thing and knew it wasn't a good game. Knew it wasn't worth my ten dollars. That's All the right. whole point. Right. But you can't d- dismiss their next game based on you not experiencing the whole first game. I agree. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a cynic. He's thrown, but I think it'll do really well. Next, in other Ninja Turtle news. In the new upcoming Nickelodeon series, the four turtles will each be a different type of turtle. So uh, each turtle is actually going to be a different species of turtle. I believe uh, Leonardo is going to be a red-eared slider. Michelangelo is a box turtle. Uh, Raphael is a snapping turtle. And uh, <laughs> Don- Donatello is a, is a soft-shelled turtle. Huh. He is a he's a weenie. Is that why they all look completely different that's why they all look completely different but they're brothers though right they all look ugly yeah how are they how are they now related uh splinter's been getting around they're all adopted i guess but splinter have you seen splinter Uh, looks pretty gross he looks like a pretty ugly rat he yeah he looks like that's saying something he looks pretty nasty i don't even want to know what shredder looks like yeah we'll we'll see we'll see april i'm hearing people are april is african-american yeah i'm hearing uh, this isn't the first time though she has been some other time. I don't remember when, but this isn't her first time being of the African American descent. Okay, interesting. Well, in one of the uh, one of the shots, it shows her riding on this little helipad type of thing, but Donatello is wearing it as a backpack. Yeah, so she's riding Donatello. Yeah, that's kind of uh, weird. See, now in that case, Donatello is a vehicle. <laughs> no, she's a vehicle. He he is he is. Ridden. That is a bad example, man. You're riding on. Someone or yeah. something. Trying to catch me riding dirty. That makes him a vehicle as much as Donnie. And all right, guys. Well, that is that is our uh, our speed run. Hopefully, you enjoyed our quick topics, and we are moving on. All right, guys. It's time for name the game. Let's do it. Three games, two competing hosts, and clues that lead to one answer. Use your wits and match the clues, and name the game. Skunk Day. Let's do it. Not on me though. Not today. All right. Good luck, guys. First game, a platform puzzle game that has music that alters based on how you play the game. Guitar Hero. No. Platform puzzle game? In the guitar it hero? can be. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, Braid. No. This game released on the Wii and later came to the Xbox and PS4. Uh, Dance of the Necro Dancer? No. Boom Blocks? No. Paint the Town Red is taken to a whole other meaning in this game. Oh. The Blob. That's correct. No, never played it. Oh, I'm just, I'm, oh, I'm like looking at it like, Ugh. I didn't know they got ported. It did get yes. ported. I did not know right. that. One for Joshua. All right, next game. Titans. God of War. No. <laughs> I was going to let you say it first. Clash of the Titans. No. Ghosts. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. No. <laughs> Titanfall? No. Warlocks. Destiny. That's correct. Titans, Ghosts, Warlocks. Yep. Wow. All right. Last one. And the <laughs> saving gear from a skunk. <laughs> you are the ultimate micromanager. Octodad. No. Uh, 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 um, The Sims. No, but good guess. Mm, that's, that's good. Literally tell your residents and employees to do everything, even have babies. Fallout Shelter. That's correct. Damn. <laughs> All right, Garrett, Garrett, Damn safe. It. A small victory. <laughs> <laughs> he picked a semi mobile game. Yeah, that game is awesome. Lo- I love that game. Um, yeah, so that's Fallout Shelter. So uh, two to one, Joshua, you uh, you took this one, sir. Damn it, I-, I had you. I had you on the ropes. <laughs> you you did. He was feeling he was feeling the aster there. Whew. Real quick, I think I think more companies should do like Bethesda did and make like that was a nice surprise 
where it's just like, it's not what you expected, but here's a franchise we love, and here's a game that you should check out. Yeah. And, and it's free. It was, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it blew people's minds away. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, they had a pretty robust microtransaction setup, but yes, it was free. All right. Well, that is Name the Game, guys. Hopefully, you did well out there. Uh, congrats again to JG on your, on your W. All right, guys. It's time for listener mail. Mail from... Male listeners, but they could be females as well. So yeah. fe- uh, listener okay. fem- females. Yeah. That sounds weird. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, it's in a weird spot, so hopefully yep. you can find it. Uh-huh. Uh, you got the number one, Garrett. Number uh, – <clears throat> Question. Email number email one. Email number one is from Charlie. F- female number one. Charlie asks, I was sad to see that when micro dollar sign – Microsoft announced that uh, first party games would be a part of Game Pass. Uh, there were only three games they had coming this year. How can that be possible? Did everything else got scrapped or I mean, Scrap. we got to wait till July to see, but I really don't think there's a whole lot coming out. Can we name their three? Yeah, Sea, sea of Thieves, Thieves, Crackdown and uh Forza. Forza, that is it Forza? I'm sure they're getting another Forza there, game. I don't know for there's one more that they announced like in all their marketing. So so according to Microsoft, Crackdown is coming out this year. It's not official yet, but uh-huh. we're hoping that it's releasing this year because if it doesn't come this year, it's <laughs> going to be the same thing that happened three years ago. Charlie, here's the, here's the issue. The issue is that over the last two and a half years, Microsoft put their eggs in baskets that ended up just literally getting smashed to pieces. Uh, they had a lot of a lot of hope for Fable Legends. That didn't come oh, out. That that's a sad thing. They had a lot of hope for uh, Scalebound. Scale that's not coming out. Um, their their Gears of War and Halos are on the back burner. Those haven't come out for a while. Uh, they, they they have had series that are ready to go that they that they use regularly, and the the games are just not releasing, and that's what's hurting them for whatever reason. Every bad thing that can happen to their first party games is happening. Pushbacks, cancels contracts having problems and it's hurting their ability to get out first party games but they're all about the players this year well you're, you're right it looks bad for them and it's funny to make fun of them but if you look at look at it was it their was it their fault like was Scalebound and the fact that 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 company did a platinum game did a terrible job getting the game ready where it got pushed back like ridiculously far that's not microsoft's fault is that what happened yes that's that exactly what happened like platinum yeah, so pl- that's what happened with Platinum. True, but yeah, yeah. It, it just wasn't ready, wasn't ready, yeah. wasn't ready. Microsoft said, you know what? We're just not going to invest they, in it, you anymore. Exactly. They scrapped it because it took them years to get the game where it needed to be. Fable Legends and uh, and Lionhead Studios had all kind of issues. They they want, I, We played the game, or at least I did, at, at an E3. Yeah, we played yeah. it. What happened? It, it, they, that's not their fault. Like, seemed like it would have been fun. It looked like, like it was it, ready to, for the most part for at least the level we played. Yeah, it was fun. It was far along, yeah. And, oh, yeah, because you're playing God. <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty <laughs> Destroying cool. Destroying everybody. Um, it didn't come out. Crackdown 3 is coming, but it got, like, all their games, for whatever reason, like, every bad thing that's hap- that could happen to Microsoft is happening. Yeah, but the way I also look at it is, like, what other big first party? Like, they don't have much first party anymore. A lot of the first party that they had, like, Bioshock and Mass Effect, eventually got, you know, ported over because, you know, for good on those companies, like, they're going to make more money going yeah. Both platforms. So, what other first party franchises does Microsoft have besides Gears and Halo? They need to. They need to make some new ones. I mean, they have Gears. They have Halo. They have Forza. They have Fable. Those are all tired. People I mean, are tired I, of them. I disagree. I think Halo will come out and it'll still I disagree do, with that do too, well. But like besides those ones, like what else do they have that has been relevant in the last six or seven years? No one cares about Halo. I can't. I, a lot of people do. Yeah, that's wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it yeah. still sells. You don't care about Halo. Yeah, that's fair. But um, <laughs> like, I can't think of anything off the top of my f- head that's like a franchise that's not like based off an indie title. Sony's in the same spot though. Like, Sony? if you look at Sony, you couldn't name, you couldn't name more than five or six yes, first parties that Most, are doing well. That's a, that's a hell of a lot more than we can name for Microsoft. That's not true. Forza, Halo, Gears, Fable. That's four right there. Last I mean, of Us, God of War, Horizons, a brand new franchise. Uh, I just had it in my hand. Uh, Uncharted. That's four or five. That's maybe one more than I just mentioned. Knack too. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to pull Knack, then that's fine. I mean, Sly Cooper. 
I would not put Sly Cooper <laughs> in that realm. Yeah, no. no, Ratchet. I mean, Crash came back, and they got Detroit, which is a brand new, you know, IP based on you know a franchise that you know studios already been working with. Yeah, I, I will say that Sony Spider-Man. is doing better. It's not that they're not, and they are. They they do have newer franchises that are that are relevant today, but they don't have that many more. So it's not like they've got like a plethora, and then there's just not a not anything on Microsoft. True. I mean, but I mean, Bloodborne. Crackdown, Crackdown's another one. That's number five. Sea of Thieves is when they they're, they're pushing out new, their new, IP. new IP. Uh, Dead Rising is back to being a uh, yeah. But it's not first party anymore because Dead Rising Four came out on PS4. It did. That one got switched over. You're yeah, right. So that's a good call out though. You know, Dead Rising Three was a was a fun launch game on the yeah. Xbox One. Yeah. So I mean, they have them. It's just I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. All right, good question. All right, female number two. <laughs> <laughs> Laura asks. I'm just going to ask we in that shtick for the, the rest of the podcast ever. <laughs> Laura asks, with Game Pass adding Microsoft titles, will Sony or Nintendo follow in their footstep? My gut says no, but how do the other consoles match up with so many games given out almost for free? It seems like they're going to have to figure something out. You're, you're not wrong, Laura. This is, I think this is, this effectively puts the ball in Nintendo and Sony's court because getting, Getting hundreds of games for free because it's getting up to almost 200 games now for free. And then them and then now them being first party games, whether there's a lot or a little, there will be more. And 10 bucks a month is a dang good deal. Yeah. Now, Nintendo is already it's definitely nowhere close to that. But when they announced they just recently announced that their their online infrastructure is coming out this uh, holiday like september so, october am i missing something there because can't people already play online you can it's free now until they will officially <laughs> launch it and oh. then it's going to be paid that, but mm. with that paid service you get two free games a month and those are going to be like retro games and a lot of those are going to be refitted with x ex- either extra dlc or multiplayer where you couldn't have multiplayer before and originally it was after the month is over you lose that game now and then they changed it up saying after the month is over you get to keep that game Okay, but that's good. two games a month is essentially PlayStation Plus and games with gold, not 100, 200 games available. But I think Nintendo will eventually reach a point where they add more games or, hey, now you can pay maybe an extra five bucks, but you have access to this entire library of games. Is it just me or does it seem a little dirty to have people play a game for free and then later on charge to play that game online? I don't think it's unfair. Just they just haven't had their infrastructure set up yet. So, I mean, they could have made it where, Hey, you can pay five bucks, but we don't have this, this setup yet. I I know that I am typically the most critical out of, the, uh, out of all three of us, but, and I, I, and I know I'm going to be critical, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm being Johnny and like being overly critical. This is trash. You can't keep the game, but I'm paying money. No, you can. So they change it so you can keep that, the that's game. What I'm saying. Now. Yeah. Yeah. If that's the case, then this is, this is, this is okay. And then, plus, it's going to be like less than twenty bucks a year. Yeah, yeah. No, that's pretty damn good. That's actually. not confirmed yet. Oh, uh, okay. I don't. I don't have the inside. But uh, what does this do for? What about Sony? Is Sony going to grab something like this? Yeah, there's nothing that they can I, do. I don't think they're going to change anything. I mean, I mean, they had home for several years, and then the home <laughs> fell off. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, they have PlayStation now, which is, I, I think, is a terrible streaming service it's as far bad. as quality. I, I believe that's just going to fall off in the next couple of years and maybe they'll try something else, but I think it's just not, it's not in their bread and butter. It's not in their blood. And then that's just going to fall off too. I mean, I think they struck you know, gold with uh, games. Yeah. Right. But the opposite <laughs> with PlayStation plus, I think they figured it out where, you know, they say, Hey, we're changing our infrastructure. It's not going to be free to play online anymore, but we're going to give you some free games to compensate every month. And people didn't like it at first, but they bought into it. And now, you know, the online infrastructure is better. The, you know, when you're playing games, you know, you don't get disconnected. And yeah. It's easier to get into matchmaking for PlayStation games. So I think they've done well over the last few years, you know, besides the hack thing that happened. <laughs> but um, I will see. I don't think Sony's going to jump the gun. I think that they'll stick with PlayStation now. I think it will continue to evolve. Um, and even though it's not right now what game pass is and what game pass is going to become it's still it's still a decent offering it's not the best and there's some kinks but they can work it through they can work through it it'll take some reformatting yeah all right well thank you for your uh for, for your females guys we appreciate that all right <laughs> wait what <laughs> don't say that again. sounds so bad uh, listener question <laughs> from last week 
Uh, what is your favorite secret in a video game? Okay. Favorite secret. Mm. My favorite secret, or at least the one that I can come up with that I really enjoy, is uh, in Kingdom Hearts 2, I believe. Yeah, in Kingdom Hearts 2, on specific boss battles, you have a certain percentage chance, or if you lose the battle, Mickey Mouse will appear. Uh, King Mickey. Mickey Mouse will appear, <laughs> and he brings his badass self with his badass keyblade, and he looks angry and ready to fight, and he is just overpowered for about a minute or two and he just comes and wrecks the the bad guy for you hurts him well you play you play as him don't you yeah he yeah you play as him so he comes and you just you have all his power he just comes and he's just overpowered and he just comes like some crazy jedi master and wrecks whoever you're fighting then heals you and your party to complete health and then leaves ah yeah that's a good one it is so sick that's cool so that would be my favorite secret and you, you would never know that unless you either put it on hard and lose or if you Just put it on lucky. easy and you suck and you lose. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Mine is actually from uh, Devil May Cry 3. Uh, there's a style called Doppelganger where uh, you activate it and you create a doppelganger of yourself. And whatever move you do, whatever, however you move, whatever move you do, whatever attack you do, your doppelganger does the same exact thing. But if you plug in a controller into the player two spot, someone can play as your doppelganger. Huh. That's pretty cool. I thought that was really cool. Nice. There was one I, I there was a, a good one that I just don't remember for the for the life of me. But one of my favorite games, uh favorite RPG of all time in Golden Sun, there's a point where you end up going to a, a forbidden island and you I forget how you end up getting there, but it's like what is this place? And it's just filled with puzzles. It's just a bunch of puzzles. And if you don't have certain moves, because uh, you can get there like semi early, but if you don't have certain moves, you can't progress Ooh. from the end of the game. And that's your once, favorite secret. <laughs> well, it, but the the thing is, I love any type of hidden like content or harder dungeons, secret dungeons type of thing, and that's pretty much a secret dungeon. And it, the enemies are hard. You have to essentially grind and then you have to figure out these puzzles and you get these awesome weapons and then you end up fighting essentially Blackbeard at the end who's a dead pirate and it's like, it's the hardest boss in the game. That's pretty cool. And they do that for the second game too. Uh, but in the second game, you have to find all the gin in order to unlock the secret boss. All the GFs. Which is D- Dullahan. Yeah. So I would say for what I can remember, that's probably my favorite secret. It's just that secret dungeon filled with puzzles. And I'm, I'm, I love puzzles, especially when they're frustrating too. Nice. <laughs> All right. What is next week's listener question? You guys watch Bleach? You guys yes. fans of Bleach? Yes. I want to know. You know my car's name? I, I've actually watched the show though. Oh, so I've think... gotten a pretty decent amount of them. <laughs> okay. Go okay, ahead. So uh, Bleach uh, is uh, a, a great watch for those that have watched it. What is your favorite Bankai? Ooh, that's a great one. Your favorite Bankai. That's one of that's their swords, essentially. Essentially, they're no, powered up state. Yeah, yeah. Their, their Bankai is their ability to turn their sword into a different sword. Yeah. yeah. They turn their Zanpakuto into a higher elevated level. Yeah. It's a power up. All right. Well, that's next week's listener question. Appreciate it, Joshua. All right. All right. So what do we have for last week's end game boss fight? All righty. Would you like me to send it to you guys? No, or just, just tell, just tell me. All right, Johnny, you have to play Super Mario Brothers 3 <laughs> and beat it with Navi screaming in your ear. Mm, well, I'll... Look pop- out! Hello! <laughs> I just won't play video games anymore. Like, <laughs> Hurry up! That's exactly, I just, <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> just turn it off. Plug in the controller! <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah, just that would, that'd be it for me. All right, you'll never play that game again. Yeah, I just couldn't play it ever again. So you lost. Yeah, I would lose. <laughs> I can't win. Can, I, you can, you, where's the Johnny Mac? Well, because like, you can't kill Na- You can't kill Navi. Why? Because it's not. You, you can't kill. You can't Navi. kill her. Come on. I'm surprised you're not going any other route. Normally, it's Johnny Mac's like, well, well, she's. Just, I just put in like earplugs and never have to listen to her ever again. That solves my problem. She's just so annoying. Like, there's no getting around it. Worst part of that game. Ding ding ding. All right. Um. Uh, last week for me, played uh, Monster Hunter a bit, getting into it. I'm on the second world and killing monsters and stuff. You you suck, Capcom. I, I officially I hate you right now. <laughs> wow, that's okay. Well, because they screwed up, and the first week of the game, Microsoft players couldn't play online. 
So is that really? Capcom's fault though? Yes. Maybe that was more on Microsoft. No, staff. it's Capcom's fault. Oh, okay, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, yeah. The whole that, week? Yeah, oh. almost the whole week. So like, I was trying to play online and I couldn't play it. I'm like, why can't I join a match? Like, how come I'm uh, trying to find a session and there's no session? So yeah. this is just the online. Yeah. Online yes. was fine. You could play by yourself. Yes. Yeah. But the okay. the joy but of the not, game is yeah. supposed to play with other people. Of course it is. So you suck because you took the first week of a game where typically that's when you're at the most hype and you ruined it for me. You ruined it. So I've been a while. Yeah. You screw you guys. Honestly, like I'm pretty upset at you. Um, that hasn't happened for a while for for a developer. I don't think. Yeah. And there was like, and it was because like, I was searching online for information. Like, is there a problem? And like, they weren't saying anything. So we, did we ever get a reason? I don't care. I just know that they didn't address it, and it took other people addressing it for it to be known. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as the reason, I don't know. I figured, because I, I was experiencing the same thing, I just figured I wasn't far enough in the game to unlock multiplayer. Nope. Did you get, like, an error message? No, it just says it just, it nothing says, found. Yeah, no, there were like, no, no matchmaking, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so it sucks. So I'm not happy with you. But the game is interesting, and I, I hope to actually play it the way it's supposed to be played now. So thank you for that. Um, and I'm also playing DBZ or Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I got a couple games that kind of sadly put Child of Light on the back burner. I'm also looking, honestly, for something I can... I don't have anyone at work to listen. Someone I can play at work. I want to have my iPad propped up. And I want to have a game that I can just look at real quick and play a little bit and then go back to work. But I don't know a game, man. I'm thinking maybe Final Fantasy, uh, or sorry, yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics, War of the Lion, a good one. or something in that capacity. So you like, uh, you like those strategy grid based RPGs? Yeah, something where I don't have to like walk around. I can just fight. No, well, I'm, I'm told, and I've heard a lot of people talk about it, that Darkest Dungeon is a Ooh. fun grid based RPG, but it's, it's uh, not on, is it's not on iPad. Yeah. It's not on iPad? No. no. It's no. on, it's on the, the Switch. It, it just got ported to the Switch. I thought it was on mobile. I do not believe it's on mobile oh. at all. I no. know it's on Vita, maybe, maybe it's on PS4, yeah. and Steam. I thought for some reason it was, well. Nope. I, I checked for that because I wanted Darkest Dungeon. Gotcha. So, cause I, I know it's on Switch and I have a oh, Switch okay. and I don't know why I didn't just buy it there. I'm but, probably going to pick it up on the Switch. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for that. I, I've been playing chess right now against the computer. Just, you know, turn a move on, play, you know, move, go back just like play, that. Just play free cell, man. No one wants to play free cell. Free cell's decent. No, it's not. Solitaire, spider Mind, solitaire. Minesweeper. No one wants Ugh. to play minesweeper. I used to play that a lot. So that, that's, that's me. Dominate the computer. All right, Garrett. All righty. So my, uh, <laughs> boss fight. <laughs> 1v1 with a teenage mutant ninja turtles. In order of Mikey, Donnie, Leo, and Raf. Uh, it was either unarmed or I can fight them using, they can use their weapons, but I also use their same weapons. Quick question because it's, it's passing me. Did they unveil any turtle gameplay yet for Injustice? Uh, no, they did unveil a, a intro pick. with Raf. I didn't see an intro. I saw a pick. He, he was doing, he was swinging his size and stuff. Uh-huh. So look, probably like an intro. Uh, okay. Okay. So I choose to fight them with their weapons. But specifically, their weapons from TMNT 2. The movie? Yes. The ones that they don't hurt you? Yes. All the sausage weapons? Yeah, and, exactly. And mm-hmm. fans yep. and... Yep, wieners and whatever else. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> their fists, donuts. So I figured, I mean, nothing could really happen to me, because nothing could really happen to them. They can't hit me with their fists, because that's not part of it. Guitars with really loud amps, like Back to the Future. <laughs> there you go, yeah. So we just end up in just a, a a draw, a draw with each one of them. I gotta say that's pretty creative. Yes, pretty good. You get <laughs> you you get a thumbs up from Johnny. <laughs> All right, where's the thumbs up? Oh, I mean, I'm not gonna actually do it. Oh, the it. listeners wouldn't have never oh, known. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> we know. John I'm gave here. me two thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> uh, so my week, um, not much happened. Just more Overwatch. Uh, New event starts on Thursday, which is odd. Usually their events are on Tuesday, but uh, this will be Year of the Dog. Some, I'm sure some cool costumes, some emotes, skins are coming around. Uh, they haven't showed anything yet, uh, so looking forward to that. I uh, want to get more time in on DBZ Fighters or DB Fighters and uh, Monster Hunter. Try to do some of that. Uh, I saw the movie Shape of Water. Pretty good. Pretty good movie. No, that Sonic meme was pretty hilarious. That was pretty funny. I, I don't. What was it? The shape of shape chaos, of chaos. <laughs> or the form of chaos? <laughs> Amy and chaos. Yeah, that was, that was funny. Um, good movie. I'm still watching DBZ Super. Okay. I'm working my way through that. I uh, got to a part where Champa is issuing Beerus a, a, a tournament so that they can switch Earths. 
since Earth got all the good food. Uh, our Earth, yeah, Earth. Earth. Earth, Earth of Universe, seven. universe so 7. You're, uh, so you're past both of the uh, movie arcs. Yes, yes. So hopefully it's new stuff for me oh, now. Oh, yes. It, everything is new going forward. Okay. It was a, it was kind of a trudge, huh? It, a little bit, a little bit. The the very beginning I was just kind of oh, slow. Yeah, Beerus yeah. was kind of like I like Beerus as a character. I, oh, yeah, I like so him a lot, I. but it's just kind of okay. Yeah, you guys are fighting. Goku's losing. Okay, Goku's still losing. He yeah, lost. It's, it's rough. The animation I heard is like pre, it's pretty darn rough in the beginning. But now going forward, once once you like once they do their recruits and get into that tournament, it it it's good. The oh. Tournament's good. It, it, it's cool being in this DBZ mode, you know, like mood that I'm oh, in, yeah. watching the show and the game coming out. I can see these references. For instance, uh, when Vegeta and Goku are training on Beerus' planet and Beerus is sleeping and he sneezes and one of those crazy destruction orbs comes out and blows up a moon or something like yeah. that. He has that move. Beerus has that move in DBZ fighters. Mm-hmm. Just crouch and hit, hit the A button. Yeah, uh, and he sneezes and, <laughs> and the orb it's, it's comes out. It's a lot out. of attention to detail in that so game. I, I, I love it. So that's really cool. Uh, but that is pretty much me uh, getting some more game time, and uh, that is pretty much it. All right, Joshua, boss fight. You had start. <laughs> yeah. Tug of war with Wonder Woman. With Wonder Woman, with the lasso as the rope. All right, so you know she's strong. I'm not. So I start, and she unveils, you know, her lasso. Like wants to know what I'm thinking, and all I can think of is you. You're so pretty. You're so beautiful. I want to have your babies. And you she, you want to have her babies. And she is, yeah, some powerful babies with red <laughs> with red hair. It's gorgeous. And she is so she is so wowed by it by my charm. They not 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 you, not you want her to have your babies. You want to have her babies. Yes. Okay. You, I wanted to make sure I heard that right. You realize that me. <laughs> they wouldn't have red hair, right? Every every gene of Wonder Woman is probably extremely dominant. She has no recessive genes. Well, I just take over and <laughs> it's just it's the one off. It's the miracle baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. Red red haired freckle baby Amazon. <laughs> but it, it would have to be a girl, otherwise the the boy would die. Yeah. So she's so compelled by my honesty that she's so oh, I just I just pull the rope and it's, I win. And then, we um, have, then we make make babies. So she's so disgusted you by your <laughs> perverted thoughts about having her children that she she's not paying attention. You pull her over yep, the line. Yep. And then she punched me through a wall or something. Yeah, All sure. Right. Cool. Okay. All How right. was your week? Uh, pretty good. You know, work is work. <coughs> Excuse me. Dragon Ball Fighters, so much fun. I don't I don't know what team I want to play with, but it's it's fun watching high level play in that game. It is just. Balls to the wall, crazy. Dragon balls to the wall. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I played you a little bit, Johnny. I think you know we played pretty good, considering like that was our first time playing. You did very well. Yeah, you, know, you got the 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 one up on me with, as I'm switching characters. Got me good three, four, five in a row. But then you know the more experienced player had to had to end up turning that around. It's not often I see you like take some some pride in like winning. Uh, well, I am competitive, but I'm also a nice guy. But I'll give you credit. But uh, I'll tell you going forward that you're not going to beat me in this game. <laughs> we'll see. Overall, All right, you might you might want to day. I'm I'm telling you right now, you will never beat me in a puzzle game. We'll see. Never ever ever. I'll wreck you on some uh, Tetris. And yesterday, I watched Coco. Good for you. I will tell you that it did it get you. Uh, it was a good movie, but I don't give it the high train that you guys are giving it. Get out of my house! <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't give it like the second best Pixar movie. It. Granted, it, I haven't seen every Pixar movie. Wow, dude! I mean, mm. I honestly it's, don't know what to it's, tell it's, you. It's really good. Remember me, Aww. though I have to say goodbye. I remember did, there was a, me. a small little tear jerker towards the end. I got gotcha. you. Don't let it make you but, cry. But. I was I was waiting for that that quick turnaround moment. I was like, oh, they said it's gonna this is the thing, this is the thing, and I was like, this it's it's paced a little differently than I perceived it to be based on your guys' perception. It was a great dude. I can't understand you. Well, where okay, where would you put it? Where would you put it? Not Brad, one. He did say he didn't see every Pixar movie. Okay, but I, I mean, out of the ones that you've seen, what do you put above it? Toy Story for sure. Oh well, yeah, I mean that's <laughs> Toy Story. That's one. obvious. Toy Story One. I mean all of them. What are your first three just Toy Story One? No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I haven't actually gone through everything. I'm looking at him like, I do like Finding Nemo more than this movie. Doesn't mean it's better. Doesn't mean it's better. Fair. But I do like Finding Nemo more than this movie. Okay. You so. you enjoyed it more. You enjoyed Finding Nemo. Yes. Okay. Now yeah. what I what I do like about Coco is it's it's all themed by culture. Yes. And that was very enjoyable. It just <laughs> it was funny because we were I don't uh, cool thing about the internet is because it's not on DVD yet or anything like that. It, we I ended up finding one that was. Anything that had like posters or something was all written in Chinese. So, but everything was in English, no dubs or anything, just whatever posters he was looking at about, you know, the competition and all. It was in Chinese. So I couldn't like read any of that. So I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know what he was looking at. Is at the end when it, when it goes forward, I'm guessing it said one year later. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know what it said. It just kind of warped to the future. I don't know what was up with that, with the dog, man. Dante, Dante? the song though, dude, like. Didn't that get you? Which song? He said there was a tear. What do you mean, which song? <laughs> what do you mean, which song? The song. Which song, Johnny? There's a few Remember songs. Remember me. Loco Loco. <laughs> that was a good song. No, the, the song didn't make me cry. The song was brilliant. Uh, I'm not saying it's not. The song didn't make me you're, like, tear. You're up. ridiculous. That. I the, said, the ending, the ending when he sang it to his what, great what grandmother the song represented. Just. Ah, uh, just got me, dude. The song didn't get me. It was, it was, it was the emotional attachment that got me. Mm-hmm, it's so far away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did have a couple of twists in the movie, though. I yeah. sing a yeah. secret song to you each night. We are Trying apart. Remember up. me. I mean, I, we're, we're gonna get hit so hard by Disney. <laughs> <laughs> not if we sing it. Mm. We're not no, copywriting it. Have to travel far. All right, so you saw Coco. Yeah, so it was good. The, not. You know, it's not my top three of my my, my personal favorites, but it was right. good. Okay. I'm glad I saw it. Okay, Fair quite enough. a different take than I, than I thought it was going to be. But I do want to I do want to know like once he once he strums that guitar for the first time, why did he go over to the line of the dead? It's like he he was stealing and disrespecting the dead by playing and taking that man's guitar, and on doing it on Dia Dia de los Muertos was like the ultimate offense essentially. So he died. Yeah. So they sent him there to speak to his dead relatives essentially. So that he would, you know, learn respect. Okay. In order to go back, he had to, hey, he had to get their blessing, and right. mm-hmm. that was at first part of it. Like you will never play another guitar. Like you will not disrespect the dead. That kind of thing. Okay. All right. Um. So something new we we're doing before we got here. We are uh, going to be going ahead and putting end game boss fight on hiatus. That was the last boss fight. Yep. And we I beat the game. <laughs> you did beat the game. <laughs> Final boss. Uh, and we are bringing up uh, stupor powers. So stupid superpowers. You know, it could be whatever you want, and we are giving each other little powers just just to have uh, till next week. Should, Should we, we switch the rotation? If we, you, we can do whatever we want. Yeah. <laughs> we have no boss. Okay. Well. So sure. Who's going first then? I mean, we're going to just we're just go fly, clock fly. Fly. I guess I'm giving you're, Joshua. You're, you're still first. I'm giving Joshua <laughs> a superpower. All right, Joshua, you have the ability to – you will always be able, whenever there is, like, trash to take out to the trash can, you can just touch it, just, just to trash, and levitate it along with you as you go to the trash can. You don't have to pick it up or wrap it or tie it. You just, you just touch the trash can with two fingers, and it just pulls itself out of the bag, ties itself up. You open the door, and it just floats its way, you know, you know a bippity-boppity-boo <laughs> style to the trash can. That's your superpower. Do I have to follow it out? No, you just got to, like, have a line of sight. You used to be able to see the trash can and see it, and just it bobs with the trash. Essentially waving it goodbye as it goes yeah. outside. Yeah, essentially. So, yeah, you can. You never have to worry about trash. Like, trash will never be a problem for you to take out. Okay. That's your that's your stupid okay. superpower. No, no, I got kind of a gauge. I mean, you can uh, make them more powerful if you want. I understand. And I just, we're starting with, yeah, they're, they're, they're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but would you say no to that ability? No, I mean... I mean, I would take it. As long as it doesn't smell up the room, which it would. It's trash can. You have to take it out either way. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay, sure. That's my stupid power. Stupid power. Garrett. Yes. I got to figure out what stupid power to give you. We'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, are you wearing sandals today? Mm, kind of. Kind of. Muscle. Slippers. Okay. So the times that you can wear shoes, you just look down, and you do a little twirl, your shoes tie themselves. Ooh. You never have to manually tie your shoes ever again. Your superpower is shoe tying. See, I thought it was going to be like he could just like do a twirl and put, and the shoes are just on his feet. Like, cause you know how annoying you got to put your shoes on and off? 
Uh, so what yeah. do I do? I gotta, I gotta tap my feet, tap my no, heels. You just, you just, no, you I just, look at you look at your shoelaces, you swirl your finger around, and your shoelaces tie themselves. So it's not bad. Cool. You can do the same All thing right. to untie your shoe if you want. You just spin the other way. Yep. So now, what if he spins the same way twice? Is it tie him like super tight where his feet are like double knotted? It's like if you're cranking a wrench and you just. You better, you better not spin in like a chair the wrong way. And you know what? I'll let you do this. You can tie other people's shoes too. Wow. Can I also untie other people's <laughs> shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. That's if you can untie your own, you can t- untie other. You can untie other people's and then tie them in a string together so they trip over each other. Whatever you want to do, that's uh, that's that's you. You do you, boo boo. You are the magneto of shoelace shoelaces. <laughs> I like this. All right, Johnny, your superpower, stupor, stupor. Power. Sorry, forgive me. Patented. <laughs> yeah, remember all the times he uh, gave you bad boss fights and. <laughs> <laughs> and bad no, dirty no, chores. No, no, no I, I, I got something. I don't Although know what we were doing before, you kind of you kind of <laughs> harped in a controller. Ah, he gave you terrible <laughs> controllers because because of Joshua. But I did, yes, yeah. because of you. Yeah. Now, okay, Johnny, your superpower. We're kind of near all in the same kind of category here with the uh, finger waving and hands and and touch. Uh, John, you have the ability. To repair jeans by touching them. Jeans meaning pants or like? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Clothing. Okay. J E A N S. Okay. Yeah, Levi's. Power to change genetics. So when you say repair, like, can I make them fit better? Like, can I like make them like a little wider or like a little? No, uh, you can only repair like holes and tears. Do I got two of those at home? Can you fix those for me? <laughs> can I bring them next week? See, I need to make, I need to find a way to make this a business. So, I mean, I'll do it for 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Each or together? Each. No, that's, each. It's a rip, dude. That literally. That's, that's what I do. Okay. Cool. Well, that's my power. I I got some. Like, I think I'd be be good at like a, oh, a vintage store. So do we take a week and next week we come back and say like what we did with them, or do we do that now? No, we would just give ourselves new powers. Yeah, no, we don't. Need to okay, so we don't. We don't revisit. Okay. Yeah, we're done. Like we just oh, talked no, about like what what like we kind of would do with it. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. I got something for you, Johnny. So you know how like you can buy jeans that are already ripped. Would you go around just touch people's legs and just fix that? And they spent all their money. <laughs> they spent all their money for like ripped labeled jeans, and now it's put put back together. That would actually be really funny. I, like, actually, I know you spent two hundred dollars on those fashionista hole rippers, right? Let me fix that. I, I don't want to see your knees, your ashy yeah. knees. <laughs> <laughs> People would be so mad. Oh, that's a great idea. Just using my power for evil. All right, guys. Well, that is our show for this week. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you enjoy the new stupor power, uh, ending that we'll be doing. Uh, it should be a fun little flip up, uh, change up. Uh, before we get out of here, guys, as always, thank you for listening to the show. We appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. We, we enjoy ourselves. Uh, if you'd like to help the show, do that. And, uh, we'll, we'll just highlight one way today. Uh, you know, subscribe. If you're listening right now and you're not subscribed, uh, it helps you to make sure you get all of our episodes. If we have a back catalog, you'll have those available. Uh, any additional episodes that we pull out, you know, random special editions or bonus episodes, you'll receive those. It also helps us rank better on iTunes. So uh, subscribe if you haven't clicked that subscription button wherever you're listening. And uh, you know, we would really appreciate that, guys. Um, other than that, you can uh, talk to us and chat with us by email, contact at scspodcast.net, or you can uh, reach out to us on Twitter as a group. You can find us at Super Co-op Squad, and you can chat with us each individually. You can find me at Johnny Mac 24 You can find me at GJL3275. You can find me at Joshua underscore four underscore life. All right, guys. Well, we will see you next week. As always, I'm Johnny Mac. I'm Chip and Dale. I'm the Wonder Woman redheaded dude that's going to have her babies. All right. (laughs) Bye.